Michael Burry, the hedge fund investor who built a massive position in GameStop before it became a meme stock on Reddit and skyrocketed. He made bets, made investments, and won battles. That is one way to characterize Michael Burry, a legend in his own right, even though he is most known for playing the main character in the major short. But he took a break after his enormous win betting against the mortgage market. But he later reopened a fund. In today's video, we will look into the recent position held by Michael Burry that has captivated the world. Here's Michael Burry's insane position. After his huge victory betting against the mortgage market, he took a pause but eventually established the fund again. He frequently commits new risk turnovers, and this quarter, which ended on March 31, 2022, was no exception. He frequently owned cheap retail establishments with varying degrees of success, including GameStop and bankruptcy. The recent position held by Michael Burry has captivated the world. Inflation in 21 was something he foresaw. In February of last year, Michael Burry tweeted the first warning about high inflation brought on by the Fed's massive money creation. He used hashtags like doom to repeat and get ready for inflation. He criticized the Federal Reserve and the U.S. government for their trillion-dollar stimulus plan. Since everything seemed to be going well at the time, he was the contrarian. Inflation stayed low even though the Fed was printing money. A 1.7% annual inflation rate was reported based on the most recent data. The Fed's preferred level wasn't reached. The man was simply early, though, in a typical Burry way. Twelve months later, we're currently seeing an explosive 8.6% inflation rate. Burry tweeted about a month ago that Mutuo could become a broken clock if he consistently arrived at everything one or two years early. It was a reply to Elon Musk's tweet in which he referred to Burry as a broken clock. Burry asks, where are we going? Michael Burry has recently not only made victory laps, but also gone into great detail on how he foresaw that the subappoint market slump had only just started. We'll go deeply into his justification and consider what it implies for us. Burry claims that the patterns we've noticed over the previous 25 years show that the bottom of a current market fall is typically lower than before, and it's by between 10 and 15 percent. That is absurd. According to Michael Burry, a peak Katroff decline of 61.4 percent would return us to the historical standard Schiller P.E. of about 16. He predicts a 50 percent decline in the stock market, in contrast to where we are now. It's a big prediction, and it hasn't gone unnoticed. Some have referred to him as a perpetual bear. Additionally, Burry said that historically, even in the worst circumstances, it is very typical to observe short-term stable coveries among a longer-term downward trend. In 2000, Shine Capital, a hedge fund, was established by Michael Burry. At the time, Joel Greenblatt and the managers of Vanguard Group took notice of Burry because he was regarded as a gifted value investor. Clients' interest increased even further when they witnessed his first year's accomplishments. Cyan saw gains of 55% in 2000 and won despite the S&P declining by about 12%. Burry foresaw the internet bubble that year, and by shorting the most inflated tech stocks, he made money for his investors. He repeatedly achieved success, enhancing his standing as a talented investor. When it came to his opinions on the risk posed by subprime mortgages, unfortunately, that reputation wasn't enough. He boldly predicted that the property market would crash in 2005. He had very little success persuading people to adopt his point of view. Burry staked both his personal money and the money of his customers on the housing bubble popping, and many people were incensed. They didn't think the drop would really take place. But in 2007, he was shown to be correct. His $800 million in earnings, including those for himself and his investors, cemented his reputation as an authority on market behavior. Michael Burry Will there be a collapse in 2022? Michael made his market projections in no uncertain terms in the middle of February 2021. Because investors are taking on unwarranted risk, he claimed that the market is dancing on a knife's edge. Increases in the S&P 500 index that correspond to levels of margin debt show that they are engaging in speculative trading with borrowed funds. Simply put, it is unsustainable 
and a crash is all but certain. Burry proposed that a widespread shift of assets from actively managed funds to passive index funds is a contributing factor to the problem. He referred to it as the IQ drain of passive investing. New day trading patterns have increased risk. Unsophisticated traders are entering the market and making bets based on recommendations from social media forums and so-called meme stocks. GameStop provides the most striking illustration of this, going from less than $20 per share to $483 before dropping to approximately $50 per share in less than 30 days. It's important to remember that Burry made $270 million from the GameStop roller coaster. Call options, which can be profitable when judiciously leveraged by knowledgeable traders, are of special interest to these same rookie traders. Unfortunately, Novice day traders who are adopting these tactics are purposefully taking high-risk positions with what seems to be a lack of consideration for possible outcomes. In social media trading groups, hashtags like hashtag blow off top and hashtag caution to the wind are frequently used. A correction is inevitable given the unjustified rise in stock values, and according to Burry, one is likely to occur within the next 12 months. It might begin with equities that are enormously overvalued such as Tesla, owned by Elon Musk, which Burry has shorted. He uses the hashtag Tesla Sufl to refer to this particular stock. In addition to worries about overpriced stocks purchased on credit, Michael Burry has made his forecasts about inflation public, and he is not the only one who was alarmed. Pent-up demand for products and services that have been unavailable due to the COVID problem may be combined with an infusion of cash into the market through suggested economic stimulus measures to produce the ideal environment for sudden fast inflation. Burry mentions Germany after World War I, which experienced hyperinflation in 1923. Burry claims that the 1923 collapse was preceded by an eight-year buildup and draws parallels between the events of 2010 and 2021. In essence, he contends that with its modern monetary theory MMT-based policies, the United States is imitating Germany. Increases in the cost of labor and the cost of goods sold will result from the trillions of dollars in economic stimulus funding and the reopening of shuttered enterprises, and this can only lead to a painful, unmanageable level of inflation. Michael Burry predicts that the economy will collapse in 2022 based on his study, but he won't take the criticism if no one pays attention this time. Burry has widely disseminated his theory and always concluded by saying, People say I didn't mourn last time. I did, but nobody paid attention. I'm advising this time. Still, nobody pays attention, but I'll have evidence that I did. He even went a step further and changed his social media handle to Cassandra the name of a Greek mythological prophetess. The result of Cassandra's curse was a career of prophesying and pleading with people to pay attention, but never being believed. Focusing on tangible assets rather than cash is the key to securing your portfolio against inflation. Money becomes basically useless in a hyperinflationary scenario. Thus, assets with inherent value or those unrelated to conventional currency are more likely to hold their value. Since there is no link between cryptocurrencies and traditional money, such as the U.S. dollar, Bitcoin may be crucial in a scenario where the value of the U.S. dollar declines. A few businesses have decided to diversify as a result of this separation by exchanging some of their cash for Bitcoin as an inflation hedge. If stocks aren't otherwise highly overvalued, they typically stay up with inflation. Another well-liked option as a hedge against inflation is gold. Since commodities and an ETF with a concentration on commodities tend to move in tandem with inflation, some investors decide to include them in their portfolios. The Ashares S&P GSCA Commodity Index Trust is a well-liked option if you choose to take this path. A smart diversification strategy with a variety of assets will ensure that you don't lose too much purchasing power in a hyperinflation scenario like Michael Burry's expected to collapse in 2022. It may not be able to completely protect your portfolio against the risk of inflation. Overall, there is inflation, a peak in interest rates, and a decline in consumer savings, which results in less discretionary expenditure and reduced corporate profitability. 
Burry now believes that we are merely at the first stage of this vicious spiral. What do you think about the crazy state of the economy? So, do let us know which topic we should cover next. If you enjoyed the content, give us a like, and please subscribe to know more. See you at the next one. Bye.